everyone how are you guys welcome back to the video in this dating series i'm so excited to be back today i know i've been kind of mia i have just been in this weird funk where i can't seem to get inspired and figure out content but today is a different story because i was inspired last night and i took a bunch of notes you guys of course i want to thank all of you for coming back to watch this episode if you guys are new to my channel and this is your first video hello my name is jerlyn i'm 28 years old and i'm single i'm dating and i live in philadelphia so if you guys enjoy my content and enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up also please subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it and hit the notification bell so you are notified every single time I post a video and if you want to get to know me a little bit more you can follow me on Instagram to keep up with my daily life as well and as per usual before we get started I need to put this disclaimer out there everything that I say in this video is my opinion and mine only if you guys don't agree with me that is perfectly fine and I get it I understand but um, please refrain from leaving any mean comments but if you want to express your opinion down in the comment section please feel free to do that so I hope you guys enjoy and let's get on with the video all right everyone so as you can tell by the title today's topic is the spark. I feel like I'm gonna be doing air quotations throughout the whole video, so please excuse it. I just, I don't want you guys to get confused when I'm talking about something else or anything like that. So, the spark is pretty much, in a nutshell, chemistry. And um, another way you can look at it too is the instant attraction that you have towards someone after you interact with them. Pretty much and the attraction could form from like physical attraction or maybe you're attracted to their personality or you know their specific traits or things that are characteristics of them so it could be anything but it's pretty much chemistry and I know for a fact that not everyone has experienced the spark before and I am going to admit I am one of those people that have actually experienced it and I have to say being one of the people who've actually experienced the spark I feel like it's a blessing and a curse at the same time because you know when I did go through that moment where I was like wow like this is what it feels like I was so overwhelmed with this energy and it's something that has still stuck with me till this day like I, and then i say it's a curse because having experienced that energy and that feeling and now that i'm dating again and i'm single i pretty much look for that specific spark in everyone and i don't think that should be the case because again not everyone experiences it but every situation is so different so for you know a while now i have been going on dates and if i don't feel that instant spark or connection i completely disregard that person disregard even if we had a decent time on the date and i have to admit i am one of those people that uses the spark as like a prerequisite to find love or to even just start dating someone and I really think that's what I'm doing wrong um, especially now that I'm a little bit older I truly do feel like this is what I've been doing wrong this whole time because I can't compare every first date and situation to that one time I had that one special feeling yes it was a great feeling and I'm I'm blessed to have you know experience that I've had this like high expectation of receiving the same energy and experience with someone else and it has to be on the first date and I, I, I don't think that's the case anymore I, I truly think that is my problem here and I can admit it and obviously I know that a lot of you are not going to agree with me and some of you might agree with me I would love to hear all of your opinions down in the comments below do you guys think that the spark is real and it's for everyone do you think it's something that you should wait for and that you should experience on the first date with a guy to even go on a second date with them or do you feel like if you don't have a spark with them just cut them off right away um, i'm curious to know what your opinions are and i feel like i want this to be more of a forum where we talk about this because everyone's so different and everyone has a different opinion and i would love to know what you think i'm just going based off my experiences and i've come to certain realizations that 
you know, I am doing something wrong, at least for me. And, you know, if it's different for you guys, that's perfectly fine. But I feel like this might be a better path for me to take moving forward. All right, just to give you guys a little bit more detail, I'm going to give you a few reasons why I feel like waiting for the spark is going to ruin your dating life. I mean, um, one is that it's, the spark can fizzle. Like it's, it's like that saying where what goes up must come down, right? And just because you have that initial like lust factor on that first date doesn't mean that that person you're sitting across from is going to be the one at all. Again, sparks can fizzle. They might not always fizzle, but they can. Another thing that I truly believe, and this is because it's from experience, is that the spark can really cloud your judgment. And I say that because I was in that relationship where I had that spark on that first date and it was so amazing. Now looking back on that relationship, yes, there was a spark in the beginning, but throughout the rest of the relationship, I wasn't paying attention to those details, to so many red flags that had come out because I was so infatuated with this relationship and with that feeling and everything else just kind of went over my head or in one ear out the other type of thing if like my friends were talking to me and you know that energy and that connection can really truly cloud your judgment on a lot of different things and I'm not saying at all that the spark doesn't exist I think it does exist because I've I felt it. I do believe that there are people out there that have the whole love at first sight experience and then you're with your partner forever, they get married, they live happily ever after. I'm sure that does happen. What I'm saying is I don't think that is necessarily the case for every single person. But when it comes to a first date, I always say there's roughly three outcomes. And this can be for male or female. Um, so the first outcome is that you leave the date and you right off the bat already know that you never want to see this person again. Whether it's you didn't click or you had a really bad first date and you guys know I've had my fair share of bad dates. The second outcome to a first date is after the date you immediately know that you want to see them again and soon. Pretty much you have that spark, right? The third outcome to a first date is where you had a good time the person was really nice, but you're just unsure if you should go out with them again. And I feel like the third, number three scenario is the most common and the most frequent scenario. If I'm going to be honest, I've been on a lot of first dates and most of them, I'd probably say about 75 to 80% of them are scenario number three, where I leave the date and I'm kind of like, well, it wasn't a bad date. It wasn't like amazing and it didn't like knock my socks off. But we had the conversation and he was really nice. But I'm kind of in this limbo where I'm like, do I even go on a second date with him if there was no spark? And that has been my mentality for a very long time when it comes to dating. And it's at the end of it, if I'm being honest, most of the time I'll just tell the person I'm not into them because I'm so fixated on this spark that I think I should experience to really find my one true love or whatever you guys want to call it. And I feel like moving forward, the number three scenario that I often experience, I'm going to go on another date with them. I realized why not? It wasn't a bad time. I enjoyed the conversation. Just because there's no spark doesn't mean there's not going to be a spark later on. And a lot of the times people are nervous on first dates and sometimes people just are not comfortable right off the bat. A second date could really be that amazing experience for you. So all in all, I am going to give, I hate I don't want to say that I'm going to give the guy another chance or like a second date because I want to give him another chance. I more so look at it as that I'm going to give myself a chance to see all of the qualities in him. And hopefully I like one of those qualities on that second date or I figure out something that I didn't know on the first date and you know I fall completely head over heels with that aspect of him. Because you can only say so much, do so much on a first date and a second date could bring out different characteristics in the person and you might you know completely fall in love with one of those characteristics. So moving forward, I am giving myself another chance to get to know people more and to go on that second date even though that first date didn't have that spark you never know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative. I would love to hear all of your experiences and opinions down below in the comments. But I do want to leave this video saying this quote because I was reading a bunch of articles earlier and it really stuck with me. 
that the spark is not the prerequisite to love. The spark is the product of love. And when I read that, I was like, that is so true. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed going through this dating journey with me. You know, I, again, I say this in, in every video, I'm not perfect, you're not perfect, and I realize what I've been doing wrong. And I think that is a huge step for anyone when you realize what you're doing wrong and you actually want to move forward and fix it. So that is it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't and hit the notification bell. Also follow me on Instagram and you can keep up with me in my daily life. And that's pretty much it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!